Man, we like to welcome y'all to Trucking with Troy. We are live right here at Matt's in Louisville, Kentucky. This is crazy, the amount of people out here, bro. It is. When when we talked about how many people were going to be at this show, it's just a number. Until you get here and you see all these people. I'm telling you. It is crazy. They tell you it's 100,000 in attendance, and it's like, nah. And Tim said it uh, two days ago when we walk around, or yesterday, Tim was like, Bro, it's like it just happened. Yeah, like yeah. nobody was here, and then just bam. Yeah, bam. Yeah, we tried to go get breakfast, and it was like nobody was here yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we got up to come eat, get breakfast this morning. It was like, oh, it's an hour and a half wait. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. really? To get for breakfast? Real, for real. We hey, got kicked, we got kicked out of t- uh, two restaurants last night too. Yeah, couldn't even have dinner. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that ain't no good. That ain't no good. Hold yeah. on, hold on. Who was that? Oh, who was Man, that? Hey, welcome. I, we got to welcome our guests. I'm telling you, what man. What are y'all doing, man? We Come found on. this guy. You know, he, he's hobo. He's walking down Begging. the street. Yeah, he was begging hey, for Begging. money. Hey, he had a stick with one of them bags tied on the back of it, white bag with, <laughs> with a pair of, pa- pair of socks and underwear. He's running away from home. <laughs> with them red and white, with them red and white checkered. Uh, t- That's what it was. That's all he Star. had. That's all I got. I said, man, that looks like Brian Lee right there. <laughs> Yeah, man. What's up, Brian Lee? Man, ain't nothing to it. Ain't nothing to it. Yeah. Hey. Somebody got to get up on the mic. There we go. <laughs> He's hitting yeah. with everything. Yeah, that's what everything. I'm talking about. That money, hey. The money button. He, he gets, he gets, he gets hey. all the buttons. Hey, that's, that's it. it. That's it. There Brian, you go, two takes. Brian hey, Lee gets in. the money button. Hey, that's what I needed. Hey. Welcome to the show, Brian. Hey, I appreciate it. I, appreciate I, want, it. Y'all, I, want, to, I want y'all to know, out of all the trucks here, Brian Lee drives my second favorite truck on that lot. That's right. That's, That's what I'm right. talking about. Everybody's got a choice, and you know what? It's okay to have your choice, and That's you don't fact. have to. You don't have to explain why your favorite is your favorite. Yeah. I just, I, I, I just it. like the purple truck. Yeah. That's what it is. That's what it is. So tell us about Purple Storm. How you get Purple Storm, man? Man, I'll be honest with you. It come out of Texas. Of course it did. It did. They was because uh, <laughs> the best hey, come out of it Texas, is. baby. We uh we were in the oil field doing the pneumatics, yeah, yeah, sand yeah. fracking, all that. Yeah, yeah. We were on my Uh-oh, way Big back Bang from. Uh oh, look here coming Big in. Big Bang Hank. Look here coming in. Big Bang hey, Hank yes, in the sir. house. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> you found us. Yeah, yeah. Tell all you. All right. Hello, ma'am. Uh oh. We're gonna we're gonna do uh short ones, and you next. Don't wander off too far. Yeah, don't get too far. <laughs> all right. All right. Big Bang Hank. Big, Big Bang Hank house. just walked hey, through. Hater May walking through the back. Yeah. I'm, I'm telling mean. you, man. It's star hey, studded out here, boy. That's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, keep going. Uh, so you got. Yeah, yeah. Yep. We were actually driving back, me and one of my partners uh, from the oil field. We were driving back from uh, Shreveport back to West Virginia. Yeah. Pops up on Facebook Marketplace. 30K. I was like, I think something got to be wrong. Really? Yeah. Man. I was like, something got to be wrong with this truck. It was a repo truck. Uh, I called the guy. He's like, Common hey, denominator. Yep. I was like, you know, hey, what's the deal with this truck? He's like, I can't tell you nothing about it. This is the price. So I sent him the money. The truck sat in Texas for like six, seven months. Just sat there. So finally, I sent a driver down to bring it back to West Virginia. And the driver calls. He's like, hey, man, this is a pretty nice truck, you know. We might actually be have a good, decent truck. Send it off, started building it, and it become Purple Storm. That's what's up, man. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Yeah. It looks good though. I love. I appreciate it. it. Yeah, it's the, crazy that Purple Storm's a repo and and Bo Cephas a repo at the same time. Oh, I didn't know Did that. y'all talk about where Purple the name came from? No, I I don't re- I can't even tell you on that. To take to be yeah. honest with you, I, it just kind of popped up. We went with it. Somebody cool, was man. like Purple Rain and yeah. Purple this, and I was like, yeah, Purple Storm. Hey, Prince did we Purple get, Rain. We're hey, gonna go hey, step hey, above. There you go. New New Earth got Purple Rain. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So yeah, he yeah. usually put them purple lights in. Newer hit me up today, want me to get some trucks lights while I'm here. Like, bro, I get that when I get back. I can't yeah. deal with that right they, now. Yeah. They don't give away free stuff at this show. Well, man, y'all check it out. Y'all see us? We sitting over here. We in a Rollworks booth. They got the, I think, the biggest booth at this whole. It's, it's, right. it's center, it's center, yeah, center point. Man, this sucker's huge. Man, in we here. we wanted to shoot the show outside in front of both Cephas. It is freezing it's cold. cold. Way too cold it's, in Kentucky. Man, it's yeah, done been fact. sunshine. It's been hot. It's been cold. It's been raining. They say it's supposed to snow, snow on tomorrow. Saturday. So, uh, yeah, we inside. Thanks to uh, – shout out to uh, Roadworks on letting us come in. And shout out to our other sponsors, Rush Truck Center, Truck Accessories, man. We just have right. to be here, man. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah, we got some good people, man. Uh, you know, 
Ralph, thank you for letting us take part of your booth over here, L- letting us rob power. And, yeah, and, sure. Uh, so Brian Lee, eight, Brian Lee, eight. you got more, you got more followers than we do, man. So, but but let's tell everybody whoa, where, they can, whoa. where they can check you out, what? At, man. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> really? How does he have more followers? I don't think he ever stops TikTok. More no. controversial. I think he can do hey, it in the sleep. Hey, he's Constant. got he's got more followers than we have combined. And hey, he's either going he's either going to make our views go down. Are you gonna make them go no, up? man, they going up, baby. They going up. I told you, they going hey, up. But you, just, you, you just did that thing when you pointed up. Yeah. Y'all see that coffee see right that here? <laughs> Y'all see this show right here? But here's that's what I want to say. I, I want to say something, man. We got a lot of questions. I've had multiple people walk up to me at this show specific and ask me, "Is Brian Lee like that for real?" Yeah. And I say, "Listen, man. Yeah, he's like that." I said, "But Brian's good people, man. Yeah. And uh, Brian, the difference in Brian is he'll he'll get at people back and forth to talk trash. He like to get at them and tell them what the deal is. Where we just kind of still, you know, we kind of sit back and we just and, let it go. And I ain't, hey, I ain't gonna say we ain't hit Brian up and say, hey, bro, don't you get somebody real quick? <laughs> hey, hey, it is what hey. it is. You hear me? Yeah, Br- Brian. Hey, I got somebody. You want to have some fun? Okay, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Text me his TikTok name. Hey, that's oh, what it, yeah. That's what it's all about, man. That's what it's all about. That's yeah, right, man. Yeah. Hey, bro, we appreciate you coming on the show, hey, I man. I appreciate it, uh, Brian Lee is fan, man. Good dude, so man. I appreciate we're gonna, uh, it. We're going to get another celebrity on here if we can. I yeah. think I see one. I don't think we can get him as big, big as Brian, hey. though. Nah. Yeah. Yeah, we got the biggest one. at. All right, we did our show all backwards. We got the biggest one first. Yeah. <laughs> That's all good. That's I don't what know do. about all That's that. That's the way it works. <laughs> but just in case some of these people don't follow you, tell them where they can follow you. Yeah, I mean, you can go. I actually changed the name Cattle Cartel. We're going to be doing the Brian Lee Cartel Life because I, I do not life. like that, man. People hey. follow me chasing clout, copying. I just I can't deal with it. So I'm going to show people it's not the name. It's the person. Yeah. So, <laughs> <you know. laughs> yeah. It's all about yeah, Hey, That's baby. what it is. I'm going to show them. Yeah, that's yeah. what's up, man. We hey, appreciate no, it, man. I appreciate you all. That's breaking news right there. Yeah, yes, sir. Brian, Brian Lee Car- Cartel. Brian Lee's. L-E-E-Z. That's it. Brian Lee's. Yeah, that's Cartel. one name, too, that's by the way. It. Brian one. Lee is one name. I, we argued about it. Yeah, but. Stephen didn't believe me. He thought it was like a middle name, whatever. What? Yeah, Brian Lee, one name. His name is Brian Lee. Brian Lee. one word. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Telling you. See how unique that man was born? Yep. Telling you, man. I did not you. know that. Yeah, yeah, Brian Lee's all one word, Doc. Yeah. yeah. Brian Lee is one word. That's it. Yeah. I Brian thought Lee. it was Brian Lee. No, yeah. Brian Lee. You heard me? In case you can't see her head boss lady's back there. Head, head boss, boss lady, lady in, in the house back Uh-oh, here. Miss yeah. Abby. Miss hey, Abby. Just wave like this, head boss lady. They can see. You. There <laughs> hey. she is. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, there hey. Is. <laughs> hey. She's been on camera this whole time. Yeah. She's doing better than all of us because she has a thousand followers she and she ain't, ain't never nothing. posted Uh-oh. nothing. Uh-oh. <laughs> that, hey, that, that shows she you who doing the boss right. is. Yeah, That's man. it. That's it. Man. Well, Brian, we appreciate you coming hey, on the show, bro. You fan, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's a good dude right there, man. Absolutely. Yeah. That's a good dude. Yeah, that's our buddy right there. Some people glad he, think it's not, but Glad he, he, he came to the show. Yeah, he's good people. He's good yeah. people. Yeah. I'm glad Uh-oh, he... Who, oh, wait a minute. Hey, man. Wait a minute. He's get coming ready. off the deck. Oh. Hey, man. Get ready for the he's, horns and in the, in the, in the, uh, in the cheers. He's the, coming off the deck. Yeah. yeah. There he is. Big Bank Hank Big Finley. Finley. in Finley, the house. Finley. Mitchell Bottomley. Right. What's up, Mr. Bottomley? How you doing, All man? All right, bud. How Good, are you? man. We glad to have you here, man. How crazy is this show? All these people. It's crazy. It's, it's cold wild, outside. Man. It is cold. We <laughs> just thankful they let us move inside. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah thank you to Roadworks for letting us move in here. Did, let me ask you, though. You saw the you saw the, the numbers online where it says this many people will be here in this many trucks. When you see those numbers... It doesn't do it justice until you get here, and you see the parking lots are just pouring out, and and then you come in here and it's so many people. Oh, it's a phenomenal how many people's here. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, oh, it's, it's crazy. literally crazy. Yeah. So, won't you tell us what you got going on? What's what's going on in, in Mitchell Bottomley's life? What, what you want the people to know about Bottomley Enterprises or Mayberry, Mayberry Crumb Shop? I mean. You know, we seen all that fantastic work out there on Big Daddy. Big Daddy was looking good, man. Hey, got me excited about hey, man. another project. I'm telling Woo. you, I'm telling you, oh, Mitchell's out there recruiting them starters, baby. So uh-huh. we're trying to figure out what, what all you got going on, Mr. Bottom. I don't know, but Troy's got it going on, too, right there. Bo Sebas oh. is pretty bad. Man, this yeah. show ain't about me. This show's about you. 
<laughs> hey, we done heard, we done had social media done told us, man, we tired of seeing that truck. <laughs> they, no, no, Mitchell, they told us, they said, can you post another truck? We are tired of seeing that red truck. I said, you know what? Here's another video. Yeah, be, yeah. be a little more tired of it. Yeah, be a little bit more tired nah, of it. Nah, we're going to have a truck show at our place. Yes, sir. This year, September the 30th, October the 1st. That's Mayberry right. Truck Show. Second second year. Yep, second year. And last year was phenomenal. Hey, if I come down there, is there a museum, the Mayberry Museum down there, the Andy yep. Griffith Show yep. and all that? Yep. Yeah. You can go downtown. You see Barber. Uh, you see the... Uh, the barber shop. You can see the. Uh, you can see the. Uh, Snappy's lunch and see, uh, it's a whole lot. To That's cool. May- Mayberry down Main Street. Yeah. Something to see. They've really changed it. It's totally That's different. cool. Is that that's not the name of the place we ate breakfast, is it? No, 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 no. That? no. Mm-hmm. that was the copper pot. Oh, man, I that's like good it. stuff that too. That was a it good was. breakfast. Yeah, man, I'm ready to eat there again. That's yeah. that's. I ain't even going back for the truck, so I'm going back to eat the copper pot. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Tim talking about if I go. What you talking about? You going, bro? No, I said, did I say if? Yeah, if oh, I yeah. come. When, if I, I, come. when I come. Yeah. yeah when. So what we got going on in Mayberry this year? Anything, any special, you know, announcements, anything you want people to hear now or you want to wait or what you want to do? We got a few things. We're building another truck right now, a show truck. That we'll, have, we'll have it revealed there. And uh, we're going to have the Mayberry Chrome Shop open. It's going to be open by it then. It will be open Man, by then. you're going to be booming then. Well, you're Man, gonna say, you're you gonna got sell a out. lot of work to do to have a shop open by then well we're hoping uh, here's what the plan is the building will be done the shop will be done the chrome shop area will be done maybe yep. the offices won't be finished but well, you don't need of, you don't need offices to sell out the chrome hey, shop. that's right that's hey right. you know what i tell my guys at work there ain't no selling going on in the office you got to go out the that's work right. goes on out there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. That's we don't right. we don't even put chairs in all of this because you don't need to sit down. <laughs> Just go on that's back why, out. That's why I moved out of Joaquin and Nacogdoches so I could sit down. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you go in there and stay in there long enough to sign some paperwork and go back to sit. It's a wrap, man. It's a wrap. So what else going on, Mitch Bottom? Right now we're trying to get our crops planted. Okay. So we're in our planting season at, at on our farm right for, now. For the people that don't know, what all is it that, that Bottomley Enterprises transports? Well, we transport a lot of high-value cargo out west. Mm-hmm. Then we bring back produce back to uh, the Carolinas and Virginia and South Carolina. And you got a whole bunch of property out there. Yep, and we, y'all harvest a whole bunch of what? We, we, we're growing cabbage, kale collards, mustard, turnip greens. Mm-hmm. That's, that's what we're planting right now, right? Yeah. Yep, and we're doing cilantro, parsley, Italian parsley. We'll eventually start planting sweet corn. Then we'll be in the green beans, and we're doing broccoli. I did. I already mentioned broccoli. Then the pumpkins go in last. Oh okay. yeah. Okay. What about the tree? We still doing Christmas. We're planting trees? Christmas trees as hard as we can plant right hey, now. Hey, what about yeah. that old boy that swings them? He'd be swinging them knives, chopping them trees, and he does how many trees a day? Trimming. I mean, on average, a man will t- a trim about seventy-five hundred trees. A day. One seventy-five one, hundred trees. Oh my good! You know, like hey, a I ninja. T- hey, I t- yeah, that's what I was gonna say. You better not mess with that dude. Right. Boy, you put them hands on you, boy. tree ninja. <laughs> We're running him in the dark alley. So man, hey, trees. so chances are you go to the produce section and you buying produce. You buying something that that Bottomley Enterprises has grown. Yeah. yeah. Bottomley yeah. Farms yeah. has grown and shipped, and then. Come Halloween, you got a, a, you got a, a pumpkin. pumpkin came from bottom. At least you didn't on carve the, you didn't carve the pumpkin right. too. Yeah. And then come Christmas, you got a Christmas tree <laughs> cover bottom. Hey, Man, what else we going to do? He's covering all the seasons. I, I've and always all said the, you always grow something somebody don't have to eat. Yeah. It always does better. But we like to grow produce to eat too. But we pumpkin, need to start out. Christmas tree. We need to start no. out on grocery store and no, out no, on no, Walmart. No, this is what I'm seriously thinking about doing. I'm seriously thinking about on the new the property that we bought on the loop. Since it's got perfect access to the loop, I'm thinking about buying a bunch of tr- loads of Christmas trees. Yeah, and setting up a temporary Christmas tree store right there on the loop and selling them. Good. So when you cut them, how long do they last? As long as you keep them watered. Oh, oh it'll, it'll last. A tree will last. I've had put them in cold storage at 34 degrees, keep them for a whole entire year. How really, long? really. So when we how cut long them, it, how long does it take to grow one? About seven, eight year. Oh, really. So do you kind? Of, but you have Christmas trees oh, every yeah. year. Oh yeah, we're planting right now. We're planting about 1.6 million trees a year right now. But then so you by are, so by year seven, they're gone. They're gone. 
And then you got to plant another one right there. Plant another one back. But you still, but say like this Christmas coming up, you got trees that are ready. Oh, yeah, we're going to cut about a million trees this year. Damn. Man. I'm, I'm, I'm going to sell 100,000 of them. At the Massey, Ooh. at the Massey Christmas Tree Store, Mr. B- Mr. The, ha- hey, the happiest Bottomley. place in town. Mr. Bottomley, I love you, but I hate he's t- saying that because I already know it's just gonna be more work for me. <laughs> Steve's Steve's gonna be in charge of the Christmas Tree Store. Oh man, well, he, he what don't else? have enough to do. I, I, yeah, not <laughs> yeah, enough. We gotta keep him a little more busy. Yeah, 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 yeah that's right. right. I'm that's telling right. you, one I, more thing. I just on need plate. one more thing to hey, do. Yeah. <laughs> if, if he's got time to sleep, then then he ain't doing enough. Only thing, only time I've slept was last night. And then who woke you up? Troy Massey. Troy <laughs> called me this morning. See, Troy said yesterday, last night he said he's gonna sleep in. Hey, yeah. you see, I, I did. Said, I said, okay. You see what a good he sl- sleep in. Yeah, you see what a good man this is to work for. Hey, he, he, he will do personal wake up calls. His sleep in <laughs> way different than my sleeping hey. in. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, let me tell you about my morning this morning. So last night. I, I took a shower. Well, we're in our motor home, and and where where we got parked, th- there's no sewer hookup, and and it's packed in there. So, anyways, I had time to take a shower, and I got out. Well, guess what? My gray water tank was full, 100. percent So I'm like, I just be dang. <laughs> so I was gonna go out there and and try to figure out a way to. And then Abby said, you know what? I'll take a shower in the morning. No problem. All right. So I got up early this morning. And I had to move all the slides nice. in, unpack everything, unlevel it, crank it up, pull forward about 150 yards, and in the middle of the parking lot, as crazy as that sounds, they got more RV spots out there. There's a sewer thing out there, so I dumped my sewer. It was like 7 o'clock this morning. I woke everybody up. because I, <laughs> I, I had my motorhome running. Yeah, Uncle Eddie from uh, Christmas Vacation I, out no, there. No yeah. kidding. That's the first thing I thought. Did you have your tall rubber boots on? Man, I was out there with with my my pants wasn't tucked in yet, and I had my jacket on. I was drinking coffee, waiting on that sewer to dump. And then when you go to back up, it's a big old bus, so it's got that beeper. Beep, beep. <laughs> Steve wasn't there to back me up, tell me where to stop. So, so I, had to, I had to do it twice. Woke everybody up. I guarantee you they would cuss. Hey, me. that's what it happens, man. That's what it happens. So, so he calls me, and everybody knows I ain't a morning person. I'm just not. <laughs> not. I'm a cool cat, but I ain't no morning person. And he called me and I said, "Hello." He said, "You still asleep?" I said, "Yeah." He said, "I'll be." Man, you got to learn that wake-up voice. Hey, yeah, so yeah. yeah. So anyways, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, you said we yeah. were sleeping in. Well, we did. I'll let you go back to sleep. I said, now nah, I'm awake now, you know. <laughs> I get up. And so, but yeah, yesterday I called Tim because when we got out there by 5 o'clock yesterday yeah. morning and started wiping on both sleepers, called Tim. Tim said, hey, man, what's up? <laughs> and then later we got it in 5 the truck. 5 o'clock in the morning, he yeah. Said, was I hollering at you? I said, nah, man. He said, hey, man, what's up? I said, I was trying to act like you wasn't asleep. He said, yeah. yeah. I said, you can tell you was asleep, bro. Yeah. No. <laughs> now, if, it, like, if my guys call me early, uh, they already know if I if I talk real loud and real fast and they say, are you asleep? I always say no. Yeah. But here's what I got. Here's I, yeah. I, I picked up on it because Troy said I sleep in all the time. And I, I, don't, I don't come to work till 10. I go to, I, I go to work before 10. But. What I know is Nine, he gets 45. he gets a notification if my air is on. I guarantee he gets a text message when my truck starts, and he probably <laughs> say, "Up, oh, Steve going to work." <laughs> <laughs> but it ain't no secret, and yeah. you know, I mean, it is what it is. And then I find out I don't find out till now. He tells Diller and all them that a pet peeve of his is somebody that, that that don't show up on time. Hell, I ain't never on time, Mr. Bottomley. <laughs> <laughs> That's me too. What do you think about that? Well, I always say the early bird gets the worm. Yes, so sir. Steve ain't getting the worm. I sure ain't. He ain't getting it. That's <laughs> good because I don't Man. like worms. <laughs> <laughs> you know what my grandpa used to tell me? And then my dad told me. I, and that's why when the sun comes up, I'm up. But it don't matter what time it is. If the sun's up, I'm up. Because my, my dad just ingrained it into me. And it's probably a lot of what is in you yeah, being a is. farmer. It is. You yeah. can't you can't waste the daylight. And my dad always told me, son, if you're sleeping in this daylight, you're wasting your life. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's and, right. And so I I just I I just can't sleep in. I just can't do it. Well, I tell you, I've been up. I've been up no later than nine o'clock here. So I'm getting up at eight o'clock at home. So you know what I mean? Like <laughs> that's pretty early. So when I go back home, I'll be uh, I'll be getting up early. Good job. 
You know what I mean? Uh, good job. Yeah. But if you don't work me till midnight, I'll be all right when I get back home. That's see, see that's, need to take him to London, and that way I'll yeah. be right used on to that time. time. This <laughs> time's gonna be way off. Yeah, yeah. That's a good going, one. Man. Where you going, bro? Oh. Don't be trying to run off. <laughs> oh, he's just getting a picture. He said he don't want to be on the show. He said he don't feel good. Man, oh, really? y'all, Hater yeah, Maid ain't feeling good. He wore out. He be, uh, he's he, walking he slow. Wrong with him let, today. You working him too much, man. Mitchell, Mitchell, let me tell you. Jacob, come up here. Jacob. Come here, Jacob. Man, let, Mitchell, let me tell you about your buddy right here. This sucker has took about five million photographs. I'm telling you. We we said he was out there when we walked up. We said, "Hey, man, you want to walk inside with us and walk in between us a little bit?" Yeah. I yeah. said, I said, "Hey, we had our jackets on." I said, "Put your jacket up over you where nobody can see you." That's he a true story. I'm not. I'm really not bullcrapping about that. He done got to wear when people walk up to him and say something to him. He say, "Have y'all met Stephen Molander? That's the famous <laughs> Stephen Molander." Right there. <laughs> he trying to deflect people off on me. I don't want him over here on me neither. <laughs> nah, we good, man. We appreciate y'all. We like when y'all come up, say what's up, man. Just that's the fun part. It really so, is. It is. Man. It is. That's what makes it fun for all of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's especially, the fun part. Especially the good people coming up. Yeah, you haters can keep y'all keep y'all six foot. We <laughs> yeah. good. We don't need y'all yeah. up on us. So hey, hey, you know what I learned though, Mitchell? You gonna like this? The Bosifa's truck. Um, I I learned this week that uh, uh on social media that, that that truck is nothing but a normal red piece of crap with a bunch of bolt-on internet accessories well that's what they said about all our show trucks all them show trucks out there and we make video they say oh i don't see what's special about them trucks bunch got of amazon, them, amazon accessories a of, yeah a bunch of yeah. bolt-on parts on them. yeah <laughs> they already come had to wipe on them all they'll understand yeah. what you or, come, or come fabricate them yeah, yeah. you'll yeah. see the come detail put that stuff on there yeah a lot of work goes into one of them. What's up, on That's right. <laughs> hey. I don't need to do it back there. Yeah, man. man he chilling, man. Hey. Mitchell, man, we appreciate you coming on the show, man. Yeah, we sir. appreciate Thank having y'all. you. And uh, I've heard a lot about you, man, and it's, it's good to finally finally sit down. Yeah. Good to yeah, be on yeah. here, man. We just uh we just out here having a good time. You know how it is. That's all what we all about. I'm just, you, you know what? I'm just glad to sit down a minute. This is kind of nice. Telling, man? I like these chairs. I did good on these directors. You chairs, did real man. good. This is good. Make me feel special. Hype. It's almost like a Peter Ball <laughs> sleep these chairs. I'm telling you, just <laughs> yeah. It's almost like a Peter Bill chair. It sits real low. Yeah, yeah. them coming. The we got out. them coming. They they, they just, let the air out. They're gonna be in the studio, so we got them coming. I'm gonna sit mine low. Are you? You gonna just, sit low, just yeah. like this? I hear you, man. No we, air in the seat. We ought to do the show in the have two cabs. In the office. Oh yeah, that'd be good. We gotta get a bigger office. Bro. Oh man. <laughs> if we That's have, what we oh, he's thinking hey, again. We had one of them big bang Hank shops. We could do that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. If we lived closer, let me tell you. If we lived closer, we could join forces. I'm tell you, if y'all ain't been through Bottomley Enterprises, he got a spread, boy. You find some Diller? You. Diller's got something in his hands. Diller got some coffee. Oh man! Hey, let me tell y'all what, boy, Thank Diller you, right Diller. here. Diller, Diller been on that TikTok heavy since we got here, man. I bet I've he gained that. more. I've seen he done gained more followers than anybody Everybody. since we been here. That's right. <laughs> hey, he come in my room last night. He was mad, boy. Twelve That's o'clock it. at night, he come in my room. He come in there talking about you got some pizza. I said yes in here. I'll bring it to you. <laughs> now nah, I'll be down there in just a second. He come in there, boy. He was mad, boy. That TikTok had him hot. He was t- I said, man, leave them people alone. Let them say what they want to say. He said oh, he yeah. was kicking Annoyed. over the Coke machine. And oh, everything. that's what he said. I kicked the Coke machine into the wall. Yeah. <laughs> did he really? <laughs> no. But he said he did. I'll be hey, somebody got on there, got to getting at him by his ears, boy. Yeah. Oh, hey, that, man, hey, I uh, saw that. Hey, I Anita like... got on. Uh, his wife back home got on. Uh, that boy said, boy, he got some listeners. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that ain't. Dinner said, "Man, I've been dealing with that my whole life. They ain't bother me yeah, with that. that. That ain't funny." He got he got mad when they mentioned Troy's name. That's when he really gets mad. Yeah, yeah. Somebody made a video and and the guy commented and said, "If you're gonna say all that, why don't you just tag Troy J. Massey?" Huh. Yeah, and, and the dude said, oh, "Did I say no names?" Yeah, it's all right, man. People being it. jealous that's just not right. I mean, it's not they order. People still throwing off on people. They yeah. order to be positive and pick yeah, people up. Yeah. 
And that's what we do. That's why we do what we yeah. do. That's why we don't ever get at them and go back and forth with people on social media because it ain't worth it. Nope. You know, we're, it trying, to, we're it. trying to grow positively and, and, and be a, a inspiration. Out here, when you get all the kids that come up, is the biggest. that's the biggest and most yeah. humbling thing when the kids acknowledge and say, you know, man, I love watching y'all. I love doing this. love doing that. So it's cool to have that kind of thing going on versus all the drama and the negativity, yep. you know. So. That's right. Yeah. Well, they just need to put God first. They put him first, and they won't be so negative. That's right. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah. There's there's so yeah. much truth to that. If if you put God first and you live by just the simple Ten Commandments and and be positive and and use some just common sense things of using your 24 hours. Everybody's got 24 hours. Yeah. It was a guy walked up to the truck earlier. They told me how nice the truck was, and uh, he said, "Man, I saw the video you did about the 24 hours, and I really never thought about it." But I do now. He said, I'm going to use my 24 hours uh, to, to every, every minute of my 24 hours to my advantage. Yeah. I said, man, that's what you got to do. Because yeah. everybody's got it. So you can sit around and, and, uh, and, and focus on someone else. Or you can, you know, so I, I guess some people say you can focus on someone else. Or someone else, you could say you can focus on somebody else's money. Yeah. Well, I'm not worried about somebody else's money. Yeah, because I'm not worried about somebody else's time. Yeah. I'm worried about my time. I'm worried about my money. Well, it's on anything. When you focus on anybody else other than yourself and what you got going and you're being positive, you're going to miss opportunities when you worry that's about right. somebody else's opportunities. That's, that's the problem with everybody today. They worry about what another person's doing besides what they do. That's exactly right. And everybody needs to worry about themselves yeah. first. Jacob Bonham, that's what I'm talking about right there. He always claims. He came up the right time. It's, no. <laughs> he's a good guy. Oh, I've, yeah, man. I've laughed so much with I'm him. I'm telling you, man, he, he, he's, a, he's a funny cat. And man. right he, here said it's a first-class guy. I'm telling you. Yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah. He stuck with me hey, till, till the end, did, boy. Did uh, – did, Billy Johnson tell you I was I was picking on you last night. He told me. He told me. I told him. I said, Billy, come here. I said, this is my best Mitchell Bottomley impression. He said, lay it on me. I said, boys, here sits a good man right here. <laughs> Boy, this is Billy Johnson right here. This is Billy Johnson. Here sits a good man. He said, man, good. you are good at that. <laughs> I think so. Hey, he he does it so much that I think he does it at home in the mirror. I think he's like, he yeah. works on it. When I, I get on the show again, I got to yeah. do my Mitchell Bottomley impression it again. <laughs> hey, it a, starts right here. I got to practice. Right here. Straight up. Yeah. Straight I gotta, up. I got to practice. Yeah. Well, we appreciate everything that you've done for us, too. And, and yeah. you know, Thank your show is great. We hope everybody gets a chance to come out to Mayberry. And, hey, uh, make sure I – Make sure we got a parking place at that thing. Cause hey, you got one there. I, we'll do a video there. If y'all want to do this podcast there, we'll do yes, one sir. Yes, yes, sir. We gonna yes, do sir. Yes, sir. I, I don't know how they're going to fit any more trucks in that parking lot. Yeah. I, I don't know. Uh, we, you, we're, we got 11 more acres of asphalt coming. So there you go. We got, we yeah, got, man, oh, man. <laughs> what happens when you can't get more trucks? Just yeah, lay more lay concrete. More, lay more right. concrete. <laughs> That's some real life problems right there, baby. Don't need no grass. We need we need asphalt, we need more asphalt, man. <laughs> well, we appreciate you coming on the show, Mitchell. Tell everybody where they can find you, where they can catch up with you. I know you're yep. doing that TikTok you, heavy you, too. You can go. Uh, my TikTok is is uh, Farming Life 1973. Yes, sir. My company is Bottomley Enterprises. And you can go to BottomleyEnterprises.com. Yes, sir. Or you can go to the Mayberry Truck Show. Go to Mayberry Truck Show. Dot com yes. or you go to the Mayberry Chrome Shop. Okay. Dot com. Dot com. And I think y'all got the Mayberry Chrome Shop TikTok page. TikTok as well. page too, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, man. Well, we appreciate you coming on, man. Much love and all all the love and respect and support and all that. Yep. We really appreciate it. Thank Good deal. Dude. Yes, sir. Thank all y'all. Thank yes, you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. See y'all. Yes, sir. See you later. Thank you, Miss Cindy. Thank you for lending this time. Thank you. Oh my goodness! Boy, we got some trucks. Oh my goodness! We got some trucks. Oh, tru- this is a legend Star right here. It's a legend, Star Star boy. <laughs> That's a legend right there. That's, That's my, my dog. Man, my That's man. my man. That's, That's my dog. That's my dog. Okay, so for y'all that don't know, man, this is the the world famous. This is the the top stereo installer in the world in the, the world. world i'm telling you interiors be out of this out of this world no pressure kevin no and pressure baby this is that's kevin a, johnson right yeah <laughs> kevin johnson hey, is, Kev, come is, up on your mic just oh, a little bit yes, kevin sir. kevin johnson's not only is he a good dude and he's good at his stereo oh you ain't got to wear no hat bro he good <laughs> i got not, i got beanie hair right now yeah <laughs> yeah good. here we go 
Right not only is he good at interiors and building and doing all that and fabricating, this is this is a good dude. Stand up dude. I'm yeah, talking about a good that. dude. Appreciate He's that. a good yeah. Christian man that yes, that's that's I think when we met we met at seventy five last year. Yes, sir. Um I think Kevin Johnson is responsible for my rap career blowing up <laughs> yeah. from uh playing my records all the time out over here. and over I and over and heavy. Hey, Hey, let me tell you what. He played that song so much that the stereo in the truck memorized it. Yes. yes. It, it yes. don't even have to. It just plays automatically. Yeah. It's kind of like the old TVs. You leave an Atari on for too long, it burns in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it burnt right into that thing. It burned hey, into the truck. Hey, he started playing Tin Lug Thug last night, and Tim said, man, I wish he turned that song off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's wore out. Yeah. Kevin, so no, let's, uh, let's tell everybody what you got going on, man. What's going on with Kevin? Well, uh, right now we've got last. Well, the most important thing I can think of right now is the last two nights I have got eight hours of sleep each night. Oh man, man. And that is for real. That is awesome. That man. was a, that was a big game changer for me. Yeah, I, in case yeah. you can tell, my voice ain't quite the same, but um, just been putting in a lot of hours, man. Yep. Uh, working on trying to get this truck ready for the match show. You know, it's like yeah. the Super Bowl of truck shows. So yeah. those of you that don't know, it's it's uh, he's talking about the truck, Big Daddy. Yes, That's yes. Up from Bottomley Enterprises. Yes, Kevin sir. is the brand new president, correct? Yes, sir. Of Mayberry Chrome Shop. Congratulations, yep. big Thank deal. You. Congratulations. Right. It's heavy is the head that wears the crown. That's yeah. right, man. Yeah. I, yeah. Hey, a I lot told, of responsibility, but it's a good thing. Said something to Mitchell Bottomley a second ago and told him, man, he's out there recruiting them starters, man. So yeah. he went for the best in the business. And, yeah, man. I don't, I don't know if I'm the best, but I'm gonna try to fill the no, shoes. No, 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 no. We don't speak negativity on no, this no. show. No, no, yeah. you are the best. I think you're the best. Man, hey, well, I we, appreciate you. we're proud of you and we support you. Well, straight up, and we appreciate that. I, I appreciate you giving me the time to get on here and talk to folks. Yeah, yes, man. But yeah, we've been hey, we've working on Big Daddy. I I would I would like to. We've been keeping it such a secret, but but I think it's time. Hey, man, you better chill out. I think it's time <laughs> we tell the folks who's who's uh <laughs> who shop Lot Rod. Are we in. about to reveal where Lot Rod is well, right now? It's all it, good. Uh, Come on with it. It's it's uh, it's chilling out in uh, in Mount Airy there. It's uh, it's, it's hanging a Mayberry out. Chrome Shop. It's mm-hmm. hanging out at the Mayberry yeah. Chrome Shop, and currently think, it's getting it's getting some work done right now. Yes, yes we don't. I mean, we don't have to get specific no, about it, but no. I, I I think it's good to tell everyone now that we got Kevin on the show. Right. right. We can say now we can tell you where Lot Rod's at. Yep. And it's, I think Lot Rod, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong. Lot Rod is the first official customer paying absolutely. customer of mayberry chrome shop hey that's cool that absolutely you're gonna work on. first paying first paying job and i know if ken kalen watch this he'd be happy about oh that. whoa whoa <laughs> whoa well, we're we're having to pay for this <laughs> whoa cancel it out <laughs> Wait, Wait, i forgot man. cancel <laughs> it out i thought it was free <laughs> kevin you were not supposed to say that man. Yeah, promotional man. promotional yeah, my job. fault yeah, man yeah, yeah, i'm yeah. sorry purely i thought it was purely free. Advertising. hey man i'm writing that check you just sign it yeah. <laughs> No. I'll, I'll try to be easy. I'll try to be I, easy. But no, we're, we're going to do some good things. I'm super yeah. excited. Uh, Me too, and I, I appreciate the opportunity. Yeah. I really do. I appreciate yeah, the it's, opportunity it's, to do it's, that. It's going to be special. It's going to be really you special. You know, a lot a lot of people don't realize, you know, uh, Bo Seif is, is special to Troy. Right. But Lot Rod was his first show truck. That's was the first. Yep. Nope. yep. And so to, to well, trust and trust it in to somebody and he he was very specific and particular about the truck you know right. that's like right. for me even driving it around here and there it's, it's you know it's humbling it's an honor to drive a truck with that right you right. know with that status and it meant that that means that much to him well, see i can't put more stress on me but you know i, I no, think it's we'll good come though. through i think uh, we'll come through and it means more to me lot right was the first truck and you can go back long ways on my tiktoks almost to the beginning and you can see that that Lot Rot was the first truck that I bought that I could buy a few things for, like yeah. a nice bumper and some straight stacks. And just it, simple stuff. And you didn't that, have to work it. And I didn't have to work the truck to make money. And and that was the truck that, that I can say, I finally got a show truck. When I got a set of eight inch straights, I, I, I really thought I hit the lotto. I thought it was the coolest thing yeah. ever. And that's why it meant so much to you because you'd finally got to a point where you were comfortable enough that you could do that and not have to drive it. Yeah. Not yeah. everybody can do that. You know, there's a lot yeah. of people, they, they, you know, they got to work their trucks, you know, and they, they don't have that opportunity. Yep. And, that, that's, and look where it's that's at great. now. That's great. But the thing is, is, you know, that's, that's and that's some of the people that, you know, say stuff about the trucks and not working and this and that. But at the end of the day, you know, it's not for everybody. You right. know, truck show world in right. for everybody. It's a tough, it's a tough thing to do. 
it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of time, a lot of effort. Yes, you know, uh, I know you've been working day and night oh, to yeah. get Big Daddy ready. Yeah. Um, but then, with, you know, people out there working, man, if you if you get out there and you hustle, hustle, hustle enough, you know, maybe you'll get to the place where you can do something like that. You know right, what I mean? Right. And that's what I tell people, too, all the time. So I was like, man, I wish I could – I wish I could have a show truck like that, you know, but I just don't have the money. It's like, but yeah. look at it this way. You got pride in what you got, and you got to do what you can with it. Then nah, maybe sure. you hustle, and you'll be able to do that one day. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And hang on to that first truck you bought. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what yeah. got, just just give us a quick on how you how you got into doing stereos. Um, actually, going way back, and I won't break it down too much. But He never uh, grew up. I never grew up, no. My daddy started building he built his own home stereo speakers okay his cabinets in 1955 when he got out of the korean war and uh they were a three-way 12-inch cool. speaker and that's what i grew up listening to an allied radio uh test records 33 and a half records and it was when stereo was first born so wow. my dad was very much into music oh yeah yeah very much yeah and then he was he, he drove a truck for 15 years before he got into uh, before he got into uh farming so i grew up on the farm but yeah. I, we worked on electronics. He had a CB shop, and the first it was he had CB shop. So I kind of had availability to look through some of his books, and I found some stereo stuff for cars. Right. First stereo I put in, I was 13 years old. And what uh, kind of car was it? It was a '73 Plymouth Satellite. That's cool. And it was br- doo doo brown. <laughs> doo doo brown. <laughs> my, my buddy Jim Robinson. It was his car, and we put a put a cassette player with an eq booster and two six by nines man but even two then, jensen six by nines what, what, they, what were they they were phase three okay tenna and pyramid phase three is all yeah. same company you know yeah, yeah, yeah. but uh as it was a pair of six by nines and man i thought i was doing something you set that eq up and, that's right but i was a music major in high school i played trumpet uh fifth grade all the way up till i graduated and then um you know, I dabbled stereos here and there, but uh, then when I was 21 years old, I started a, C- or a stereo shop, also a body shop, in uh, in Sullivan, Indiana, and uh, it was Jay's Auto World. Give Jay, uh, give Tim a plug here, but uh, yeah. but a Jay's Auto World there in Sullivan, and uh, we we were fortunate enough. I even when I was six months into working there, I built a demo vehicle for MTX that had 16 tens in it. Wow. It, it was it was serious. And within about two years, I mean, I, I was a student of the game, man. I I was just hungry to learn. Yeah. And uh, started doing more and more. And I actually started my own lowrider shop in 94. Built lowriders, showed all over the U.S., lowrider magazine shows. Built a blazer that had 815s so in you, it. So are yeah. we talking sound, sound or body work or all of it or just? Uh, just we did a little bit of everything. Yeah. Um, when I started building the show cars, I got, uh, well, when I was, let me go back. When I was at Jay's, had a really good friend, uh, Tony there, and uh, Tony Stone Rock, and he was he was an artist with paint. And he, he would do some stuff on the side of home that they didn't want to do at the shop, so I started building some systems for some friends and started doing some really radical paint jobs, and, and uh, it really got me interested in more than just the stereo. So that kind of transferred over to what I'm doing now, but when I was uh, 25, we started, uh, and I think you may even have him on a minute, I don't know, but my oldest son, Kynan, come along. Yeah. And uh, I was like. He's a good dude, too. I was like, okay, so I'm going to need to get a job. I've got good insurance. <laughs> i got to get a job now. So, yeah. so uh, 20 years I spent as a union sheet metal worker, which which goes into the fabrication part. Yep. Right. So yep. I've been blessed to have uh, some background that just really trained me up to do a lot of things. And then uh, Brian and Tom Davis, my cousins. And they got a hold of me through my brother. Said, "Hey, Brian's wanting to put a stereo on one of his trucks." Yeah. So I called Brian up. He goes, "Man, you just need to come down and see this truck. You just need to come out." I I thought, "Well, it's a semi. I want to put a CD player in or something, you know." Yeah. I got down there and I walked in and I was like, "I never seen no truck like this before. <laughs> Chromed out engine and all this stuff, you know." And and uh, we 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 ended up with Super Freak. Oh, well, okay. So I was going to ask. That was uh, the, what, the first, first one. That was okay. the first one with Super Freak. That uh, I think it's an 05, 379 day cab. Okay. What okay. about the uh, What about the red and white uh, W900? The red and white one? Out uh, front. Oh, J and L, never satisfied. Oh, I, that was man. That was another one. That was another big one. And I, honestly, I love the, that truck. The first big build that we did as for a customer at Davis Brothers was Flashback. That baby blue and white one out of Nebraska. And I did a 359 dash. I built all the underdash by hand and 
it actually won the Jake Island Pride in Your Ride Award. Here. Really? I, I tell you what, that choked me up. Yeah. Because it meant a lot to me. Because those oh, folks, yeah. those yeah, folks were it show was your, truck guys for it was your work. And yeah. it was my baby, and we did yeah. that. But then, uh, but back to the J and L truck that never satisfied. I love that. That truck. was one of my favorite ones, and I got a funny story about that. I was telling Jamie my ideas on the interior, and I said, I'm gonna do all white over all the big panels. I'm gonna put red buttons on them. And he was like. Oh my goodness, Kevin! He said, "I'm afraid that's going to look like a pair of polka dot girls' panties." <laughs> <laughs> and that's not you bad. Have, you can't yeah. do that. He said, "Oh my goodness!" You know, and I was like, "Man, just trust me. Just trust me." And all the whole time, I was going, "Man, I hope this works." Yeah. But uh, we got that dude done, and and uh, you know that I did a big pa- I did a big panel. He said, "Do one and show me." So I did a, one of the big panels, all the buttons and everything on. And he goes, "I'm gonna trust you." He said, "I don't look bad." And uh, so he, you know, that was another big deal. He, somebody put their faith in me on that one. And uh, we got that thing, you know, was going along. And, and uh, the outside of it's red, white, and blue. It's got like a 10-inch wide stripe right at the door and a half-inch wide blue. And a lot of it tapers. But I took that section at the door and uh, decided to, uh, well, Brian Davis told me, he said, I want you to stripe this carpet. And I said, I'd just soon that was, Steven pointed that out. He was like, look at the carpet. It's got stripes in it. Yeah. I, I said, Brian, I'd just soon shut my head in the car door. He <laughs> said, well, get to slamming because I want you to stripe the carpet. Man, it was, it was bad, too. And I mean, I, I, I trimmed out half-inch wide strips of blue carpet and glued them down with a little uh, brush with, you know, with yeah, uh, like they, the Landau top adhesive, the good weld with it, Landau yeah, top stuff. Yeah. So glued them half-inch stripes down, then laid, in, you know, laid the white, the blue, and then the red down. I, the good Lord must have been watching over me that night. I was tired, and we was getting ready for Louisville, and we was working over 90 hours a week. Yeah. And, Golly. And you know, I seen cross-eyed, I so tired, but I got that stuff in there, and, the, and thankfully the seams went together real well, and it, yeah. it turned out great. And we, That's what we were talking about the other day, craftsmanship. There's right. a difference between, you yeah, know. Right. And, there's a, there's, there are a lot of people that build nice trucks. You see them going up down the road, and, and they're nice. But there are a few people that, that have – craftsmanship yeah right. and and you're one of them well, I appreciate your, that. your I work really is is it fits right there's no where the edges that you know one edge is here and this one's over here and they say oh that's good enough you know we'll right. just we're right. in a hurry we got to get it done that's there, one of the things there's I only a few people yeah. that i that i've seen that build trucks that that's got craftsmanship and right that's why you got lot right well and yeah, that's and why I, I ask you. That. That's I why I ask that. you to to look at both Cephas and say, is there something you can do with this interior without completely gutting it? You know, to right. to build us a stereo in here. Right. Because yeah. and I've already the truck's got, got ideas on it. The truck's got that. everything that it's got everything but a stereo. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And it's it's a legit truck. I mean, for that. I, I mean, I've looked it over even when y'all went. It's around. actually not. It's actually a just a plain Jane old 379 that, with a bunch of bolt on yeah, yeah. I don't know bolt on yeah, parts yeah, I don't he, know. he ran that That's thing what they say. through the chrome shop and they threw one of everything on no it ain't that <laughs> no, no. a bunch of mail in parts yeah, yeah, yeah. let's yeah. call in and some it, stuff and it's not a real it's not a real show truck because it didn't it doesn't work yeah yeah. no that makes it a real show truck yeah I mean <laughs> and then why in the world would you take a sleeper off and have it as an ultra cab with a cab conversion. I don't know. Maybe because most of our trucks are day cabs. I don't, I don't know. know. It could be. You know, hey, sometimes you're, you, sometimes what you got is what you, you know, you want to kind of be dragging, true to. We dragging Kevin into something he don't need to be no part. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, hey, Kevin, yeah. man, we, we appreciate you coming on the show, hey, man. I'm, we I'm, we yeah, yeah, I got to say, gotta, when you hear these trucks, too, these the sound of these trucks, it's, yeah, it's oh, like yeah, nothing you've ever heard. Well, and so just talking about it on here, just just real – quick before I, you got to perform in a minute right yeah four yeah. o'clock okay yeah. we got to go but but just real quick guys the difference when you go to these shows the difference in a kevin johnson stereo and another stereo, stereo period is you can actually hear the music yeah right. everything's clear a lot of other guys all you do is hear bass that's it yeah. and that's good you know I, I've had a lot of stereos like that. Me, me too. But, but I, I always, but I always I'm try on, to make it. Yeah. That that sound background that I got, but just like Tim and I was talking about, I, I've, I've made comments to him, and I'm sure you're in on the, the mix and all that music. The music that y'all put together that you've got, Tin Lug Thug, Shift, Hold Up, man, that stuff, 
He is fantastic to play in a sound system because we, it is it is put together well. It's recorded well. Right. That's Tim, well. right? That's Tim, baby. That's, that's, our, hey, hey, that's our very hey, own. Hey, you know what I mean? Hey, yeah. he, and I, it. he and I had a talk the other day, and I said, man, it's easy to play those songs and have them sound phenomenal in these systems because it's recorded right. Yeah. right. You don't have to do anything crazy to right. it. And right. it, it's, it makes what I do sound even better. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. Yes, sir. Right, right. So, hey, man, we appreciate you coming on, Kevin. If uh, – the people don't know where can they find you, where can they look at you and see some of your work and see, you know, follow you and do all that kind of stuff, social media. Um, we're on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, Mayberry Chrome Shop, and that's uh, M-A-Y-B-E-R-R-Y. That's what Chrome I'm talking about. Chrome Shop. Man, and appreciate uh, it you again. can look it all up. And uh, if you message us, and if we don't follow you on TikTok, obviously you can't message back. But Facebook or Instagram, uh, my son Kyan and Arai, he's my engineer. You, you'll you'll get either one of us will be uh, reaching out back to you and also our, the email is kevin at mayberry chrome shop or kind yeah. k-y-n-o-n at mayberry chrome shop okay, we cool, will man. we will be happy to earn your business yes so, sir we appreciate it so if if someone wants to see these trucks not lot right because it, it it's going to be a while it will it's not be, be at, a lot right will not be at the next show but the next show you'll be out is 75 Chrome 75. Shop, Wildwood, Florida. Yes, sir. 75, and we'll probably be parked next to each other. Yeah. That'd be great. That'd be awesome. Awesome. I'd love it. That'd, That'd be my awesome. Day. Yeah. Hey, it was great to be parked next to you out here. They started parking me, and I went over, and I didn't want to make you by man because you always want to do the right thing, yeah. you know, with yeah. this show. Yeah. And I was like, hey, can you park me over by Troy? Because <laughs> yeah. he's my buddy. Yeah, <laughs> man. Cool. Yeah, for sure. That's cool. So well, we appreciate we, it, man. We appreciate it, man. Yeah, and we I, appreciate I look you. forward to working with y'all more, and I appreciate this, uh, this time to be able to to yes, talk sir. with y'all absolutely cut up a little bit and yes, also sir. we appreciate the help absolutely. Yes. hey let's let's say thank you to to mrs johnson for having yeah. so much patience come around here real quick come around so, so see much pretty patience face. she even fed us at the shop when we were working oh, 100, my God. 110 plus hours a week yeah, yeah. she Ms. is miss johnson miss johnson thank you for letting your husband come play at matt's and being a very very supportive wife wife for the past month while he slept at the shop and Tr- didn't, didn't come home yeah. truck show widow <laughs> <laughs> that's what it is yeah she's very supportive and, and uh, that's what it's all about, about. Yeah. you gotta yeah. have support at the house that's right and we, if, if you want to be successful and use your 24 hours wisely and make something out of your life right. you gotta have support at home that's yes, right sir. and that's also right. just to not leave this out for certain you got to have a good a good team to do yes. this stuff, yeah. and that's that's what I've been tasked with. And so far, we've started put together a great team. And, that's dope. And yeah. all those guys to shop, man, they're they're going to keep working just as hard as we do. They stuck with us, working countless hours, man. Yeah. It was just, yes, sir. It was hey, that's cool. That's cool. We're about to see. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Hey, we appreciate what, it, man. We're about to see on Lot Ride. Yeah. It'll be legit. Right. Don't let us you. down, Kevin. Hey, you know, not, you know you like that. Let us down. You know you like that bass, and you like it to sound good. Fix it to give you a lot of both of them. That's what I'm right. talking about. How, many, right. talking about. how many watts are we going to have? I'm thinking probably in the ballpark 14,000, 16,000. 20,000, y'all. Okay. <laughs> 20,000. I can do that. Hey, right. just, send, just send me the bill and I'll take care of it. We'll yes, do what we okay. need to do. <laughs> hey, man, we appreciate y'all watching. We hey. got to cut out. I got to go hit this red eye radio stage for a couple minutes. I'm going to do the shift record. We're going to do the 10 Love Thug and talk to the people. And then, uh, and then we're going to come back, man. Yep. I appreciate you. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, Kevin.